the sound of Wycliffe's country. DCR, the channel you want to listen to. Hello, this is Simon Partridge interviewing Terry Cleaver about his profile for the Dover Community Radio. First of all, could you tell us a little bit about yourself? Uh, I was born in Dover's Buckland Hospital in 1986. I come from quite a long established family in Dover, uh, having traced my family tree back about 400 years. Um, and I've always studied locally and worked locally in the town, having studied at Astor School, uh, Athorn Alvington Community Primary School as well, as I lived for six years out there, and I've also studied at Christchurch University. How did you get involved with the Dover Community Radio Station? I have to say I've been here since the beginning really. I was one of the co-founders of the station along with Matt Curtis and Catherine Block. Uh, set up a group on Facebook originally which was a campaign for establishing a community radio station which led to an article in the Dover Express and the first meeting at the White Horse Public House which you were actually there, weren't you, Simon? Yes, I remember that well. Um, and Terry, wh what is the history of your involvement with radio then? Well, uh, I've been passionate about radio since being a child. Always been listening to and brought up on 1960s music and that of the 70s and 80s as that's what my parents tended to listen to. Uh, in 2001 I started presenting and producing with the Gateway Hospital Broadcasting Service in Dover where I presented a show called Terry's All Gold focusing on those music, on that type of music. Um, that went on until 2006 when the station closed. At that point I was studying radio and geography at Christchurch University and I was also involved with the trial station CSR FM in Canterbury that got an FM license uh, presented on there for the first five months. Uh, I was also involved as well with the student station C4 Radio and I've done some behind the scenes things with um, Radio Kent uh, collecting stories to do with the People's War Project as I'm very interested in history as well. Do you have any influences then Terry? I have a lot of um, community influences. I believe that the community is very important with regards to radio and getting the message across as I like to include a lot of that in my podcast which I do with yourself, Sky, Alex and Gary to name a few of the team. I also have very much an interest with local music and I believe that influences me as a presenter on the station. And why is it community ra radio? Well community radio is one of these things that are done by local people for local people which just like the seagulls you can hear in the background are an ethos and uh, experience of Dover and that's what I like to bring across on the station and uh, having been involved on community radio stations both in Canterbury and BRFM in Sheppey I can understand the notion of trying to get community across particularly Dover which I'm very proud to be a Doverian. And Ter Terry I have to ask you this why are you passionate about Dover? As I said I've grown up in Dover, I was born in the town in 1986 I'm very much a very proud Dovorian because of the history and the geography. We've got beautiful countryside and we've got a lot of people doing amazing things for the town. A lot of people talk Dover down but there is a lot going for it. As well, my own family have stayed in the town for many hundreds of years and I've traced the history back. And I'm very interested with Dover's locality, its geography and its whole community feel. And I like to bring that across on Dover Community Radio. That's really interesting. And what is your favourite music? Well, generally a bit of everything. You can't really get um, put me in a box, so to speak. But I'm very interested in local music. Uh, one of the events I went to yesterday at the Warmer Picnic on the Green included the Kingsdown Band, for example, who were very good. And I'm very interested in music from the 60s right up to the present. Generally, general pop stuff and some indie music. Um, and mainly just music that you can tap a toe to really and have a good time with. And what kind of things do you do with, with D D D Dover Community Radio? Uh, since DCR started I've been one of the co-founders. I've been involved with promoting the station both online uh, with 
poster and leaflet drops and out and about it with newspaper interviews. I was the vice chairman for a little while, uh, helping to support the chairman's role, who was originally Matt and then Albert. Um, but now I'm very much into reporting, leading a great podcast team of yourself, Simon, Sky, Alex, Barry, and we're all wor- working together to provide a great service for Dover. Well, Terry, thank you very much for giving us a profile of you. The sound of workless country. DCR, the channel you want to listen to.